Hi everybody, I'm Jeremy Horn with Elite Performance in Salt Lake City and today I thought I would answer one of the questions I get asked more than any other and that is <clears throat> how I've stayed relatively injury free for the length of my career. Um, I've been fighting for almost 20 years now and I've never had a major injury or anything like that. So a lot of people are wondering why that is. Um, I don't really have a clean answer for it. I think the main uh, point is that I've always tried to train with a focus on technique over anything else. Um, if you're doing everything as cleanly and smoothly as possible, the, the chance for injury is really rare. Uh, the only time, in my opinion, uh, the, the, the major time that injuries happen is when people are trying to force things. Um, you know, you're trying to finish a takedown and the guy's knee is not in the right spot and rather than figuring out why, uh, you just bull rush over it and twist his knee sideways. Um, or you're fighting a takedown and your knee is twisted sideways and rather than just conceding the takedown and learning from it, you fight harder and twist and try to thrash out of it and it hurts your knee. Um, things like that uh, you know, happen all the time in training and it's generally because people are not adhering to you know, the cleanest level of technique that they can. Uh, the same thing applies as far as sparring goes. You know, it's kind of funny, I hear the new crowd now, uh, everybody talking about how, you know, concussions are dangerous and you shouldn't be sparring that hard. I've been saying that for 15 years. Uh, I've always been one to spar nice and light, uh, you know, one step above playing tag with somebody. Um, you know, every now and then you need to go hard uh, to make sure that you can hold to clean technique when you're under fire. But for the most part, um, if you can touch somebody, you can hit them and you can gradually gear up that level of... of uh, of intensity as the fight gets closer uh, but still you don't need to be going super hard um, again it just goes back to good technique um, I've never been a fan of wearing headgear uh, a lot of people are I think that's silly but in my opinion um, headgear just encourages people to go super hard because they think they're safe and bulletproof um, besides the fact that headgear really only prevents you from getting cut uh, you know from a wild elbow or a headbutt or something um, it doesn't really affect the impact you feel when a guy's smashing into you, you know, with, a, with an overhand right. Uh, the way I look at it is uh, if I'm going to have somebody hit me with a baseball bat, does it make a difference if they put a pad over the bat first? You know, it still is going to hit just as hard. What stops that from being a problem is when they demonstrate some technique and control. Um, and if guys are flailing around with their heads wild and elbows flailing all over the place, then they shouldn't be sparring or they shouldn't be sparring as hard as they are. Um, you know, when you train that way, your fighting will reflect that. Um, I also adhere to, you know, fighting as it was meant to be in terms of self-defense. You know, I want to take the guy down. I want to get to a good position. I want to finish the fight as soon as I can, taking as little damage as possible. Um, and if you if you fight along those lines, then, you know, your fights are going to be over fast and safe. And even if they're not fast, you're relatively going to be uh, re relatively unhurt. Um, Anyway, that's, uh, that's my secret to longevity and, and lack of injuries, is pay attention to your technique. Do everything as cleanly and properly as you can, and if you feel like you're forcing it, you're doing it wrong. Find a better way to do it. Anyway, that's all I have for today. I hope that uh, can make a change in your guys' perspective, and maybe you clean things up a little bit and not get hurt so much. If you have any other questions or anything else you want to see, leave a comment below. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.